Are you looking forward to the film? I am. I can't wait. Believe it or not, I've actually never seen The Jungle Book, the original. So uh, I'm in for a treat out here. And it just sounds, the music sounds great and the cast are uh, brilliant. So uh, hopefully it's going to be amazing. Yeah. You haven't seen Jungle Book, but are you a Disney fan? Do you have a favourite Disney film? Massive Disney fan. Um, probably my favourite might be Ariel, uh, The Little Mermaid, or Aladdin, maybe. Um, but no, I know I must be the only person in the world that hasn't seen the original Jungle Book. Why is Ariel your favourite? Why is The Little Mermaid one that really sticks in your mind? I think it's just, you know, I think it embraces the magic of Disney, is the fantasy, and, you know, who, who, what little girl wouldn't want to be a mermaid, so... Eve's been a huge hit. Um, what's been the best part of being involved in the show for you? I think, to, for me, it was the fact that the part is a robot. I mean, things like that just rarely come up. So to, to get to, you know, try all different kind of acting techniques and embrace this kooky character, it was just a treat, an absolute treat for me. And to be able to work with such a wonderful cast and make all these kids happy, you know, it's for the kids, just like all this, this kind of stuff is. So uh, I'm uh, really, really privileged to, to have had that part. I had such a good time in it. Um, yeah, that's great. And of course, there's a lot of uh, robots in film and TV. Did you take any specific inspirations for it? Well, I watched, um, I watched some humans, um, some humans, uh, and that was brilliant. Of course, it's kind of not the same because we're, we're targeting the, kid, the kids and the, the children's uh, audience. And they were fantastic. I loved that. Um, and then obviously there was Ex Machina, that film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's different, really. I was kind of embracing the comedy side of it, the kooky, kind of quirky side of it, rather than, um, you know, the serious sci-fi, which we have elements in that end of the show as well. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to kind of make her a bit original and a bit weird. There's a lot of fun moments. Um, are there any that were particularly uh, awkward or embarrassing to do on set? Awkward or embarrassing? Um, probably... Oh, do you know what? Actually, series two, I had to wear this robot suit, like a, a box and, you know, this outfit with all tubes. And I stayed in it, in it all day because I'm such a professional. <laughs> but it was, yeah, method, yeah. But uh, it, was, it was tough. It was, it was hard work being in that all day. But that was, that was probably as far as it got. I loved it so much. So just to be free with it, you know, it was a wonderful part, so... Well, I'm working on a, a film called My Cousin Rachel at the moment, um, starring uh, Rachel Weisz and Sam Claflin, um, directed by Roger Michelle. Uh, it's set in 1840, so it's a period drama, which I love. So corsets and massive sleeves and ringlets and all that kind of thing. Uh, and so that's going to be wonderful. And then after that is uh, series three, potentially, of Eve. Um, yeah, so I'm keeping busy and meetings and voice work and all the other stuff that I do as well. So. I keep it busy, so a night like tonight is a treat for me. <laughs> I mean, obviously that's a, a very different project for you that you're working on. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your character, kind of where you generally fit into that one? Um, so I play a part called Mary Pascoe. I play Vicar's daughter, and uh, it's, I can't tell you too much because I don't want to give too much away of the story, but uh, it's, it's light-hearted. The, the adaptation is wonderful. It's obviously based on the Daphne du Maurier book, and uh, I'm incredibly um, privileged to be involved in it. Wonderful director, wonderful writing. Uh, so, yeah, look out for that. That's the next one, I guess, that you'll see. It's a fantastic cast as well. Can you talk about what it's been like working with some great talents like Rachel? I know, I know. And the thing is, I grew up watching The Mummy. Like, you know, that was my... Yes, exactly. And I haven't really mentioned it to her yet, but I'm, of course, obviously starstruck. She's so gorgeous, so wonderful. So, uh, yeah, I know. It's a wonderful uh, kind of uh, project to be involved in with kind of, you know, big film stars like that. It's kind of the first thing like that I've been involved with, a proper kind of cinema film. So it's a new step for me, which is wonderful. So I'm embracing it and loving it, um, yeah. You mentioned there might be a third series of Eve. Um, do you know when we're going to find out about that one way or the other yet? I'm not allowed to say anything. I don't know yet. Um, I guess it's all kind of up in the air at the moment. But uh, it's wonderful that it's been so well received and, you know, so many kids love it. So if we get a third series, it'd be wonderful to continue the journey of the character and to bring all the wonderful cast and, and stories back. So hopefully that could be this year and, you know. 
I mean, if you do get the chance to continue the journey, um, are there any specific things you'd personally like to see, both for the character and the show as a whole? I'd like to see something in the very far future, because obviously Eve's a robot, so she won't age, whereas all her you know, friends and loved ones around her will. So I think that's an interesting uh, aspect of the story that I'd potentially like to see. Maybe a bit sad and dark for the young kids, but you know, channeling a bit of the, uh, the AI, you know, artificial intelligence, uh, that film. So, to Eve fans, oh, love you all so much. Thank you for watching. I hope there's a lot more to come for you. Keep watching. I know it's an iPlayer and they will play it whenever they can. Uh, so, from all of us at Eve, all of us, um, the cast, thank you for watching. Love you all. Enjoy it.